Rwanda is not the cause of long-standing instability in Eastern DRC, uh, where we have over 130 armed groups, including the M23. And the presence of the FDLR and the close collaboration with the army of the DRC has always been the most significant cause of insecurity. And this enables the FDLR to conduct terrorist operations on Rwandan territory, something government of Rwanda cannot accept. And in Rwanda, we always reserve the right to take necessary measures to protect its, integrity, its territorial integrity, its sovereignty, and to ensure the security of its people. This being said, Rwanda remains committed to the processes mandated by the African Union and the other regional organization, which we hope the United States will continue to support for all of us to bring lasting peace to Eastern DRC and to the entire region. Thank you. There are um, very credible reports of support for armed groups uh, by, by all sides, including uh, the FDLR, by Congolese forces, and M23, uh, by uh, Rwandans. And our position is clear. Whoever it's by, whoever it's to, that's a, that support needs to cease for any, uh, any armed group. Uh, when it comes to the, uh, the FDLR, um, it has sought to conduct attacks on, Ru uh, on Rwanda, and it's supported hateful ideologies. Um, and we've seen supports, as I said, of we've seen reports of cooperation uh, between Congolese forces and the FDLR. I raised this directly uh, with uh, the president in um, in the Congo, and we are pressing again for for that uh, support uh, to cease, just as we are pressing for any support to M23 uh, to cease. Um, these groups need to end the violence, uh, demobilize, and pursue talks with the government. And as I noted, uh, both leaders in, uh, here in Rwanda and uh, in the, uh, the Congo made uh, clear to me that they're prepared uh, to engage in talks with the various uh, armed factions as necessary uh, in order to pursue uh, their demobilization in the context of the um, process led by, uh, uh, by President Kenyatta and others, the Nairobi process. Uh, we'll continue to support that. Um, and when it comes to uh, recognition of the, uh, the genocide and the, uh, the horrors committed, um, we are, we've been very uh, clear uh, about that. I'll have an opportunity to visit the memorial uh, in just a few hours um, and to continuously take note, to take account of the almost unfathomable suffering uh, of, uh, of so many people that remains present in, uh, in people's lives. And we'll continue to work at the United Nations for every appropriate recognition uh, of history, even as we do everything possible um, every single day to make sure that that history is never repeated. Thank you.